But joining us now to break down the Senate races in Georgia and the future of the Republican Party more broadly is Tommy Hicks, the co-chair of the Republican National Committee. So, Tommy, we've been getting updates about what's happening in Georgia, and it seems like every week the importance gets more and more noticed. Everybody knows what's on the line there. So at this point in time, what is the focus? Is it on ads? Is it on knocking on doors? Is it just getting the candidates out there to the people? Where are the priorities right now? Well, the, the candidates are doing a great job. They're out there engaging with, with the Georgia voters uh, at all times. Uh, so really proud of the work they're doing. But, you know, the RNC is focused on the ground game. We have uh, 500 uh, staffers on the ground in Georgia right now. We have thousands of volunteers. All we care about is making sure we get our people out to vote, make sure they know their legal vote will count. And when it comes to that as well, I know that there are some people in the state of Georgia who are looking back on the 2020 election and saying, you know, I still have some concerns, some questions. We heard Vice President Mike Pence say that he has his concerns as well. But uh, from the candidates themselves and really every influential person who's since gone down to the state of Georgia, they say the only way to combat any of those concerns is to go out and vote. So do you have concerns as well in the voting system or do you think that when people come out this time, they should have confidence in doing so? Absolutely. And, and everybody in Georgia should know that they are what stands between uh, the United States of America as we know it and uh, potentially a socialist country. So every vote does matter. We're going to do everything we can do to make sure that we protect the legal vote. And I think that that is best demonstrated by just looking at the people who are going down to that state right now. It's not a bunch of nobodies who no one's ever heard about before giving these big speeches. I mean, today we saw Kamala Harris uh, over the weekend. We saw Vice President Mike Pence the day before those races. We're going to see President Trump going down to the state of Georgia, stumping for those two Republicans, because I don't think we can stress enough how important these races are going to be. So once again, for our viewers who may not get that message just yet, how important is it for Republicans to hold on to the Senate? It's the most important thing you could ever do. We have to get our people out to vote. Uh, we have to work, make sure we get our friends, our neighbors, the people we pray with, the people we work with out to vote. And I've been on the ground in Georgia, uh, knocking on doors, making phone calls, phone banking. It is very clear to me that, that there's a lot of passion there. People in Georgia understand what's at stake, and we've got to make sure we get everybody out to vote. And I mean, if we just look back at the couple of four years, for example, with President Trump, who had Republican Senate control, that's the only reason, for example, that we can talk about having a six to three conservative majority on the Supreme Court. That's the only reason we can talk about tax cuts back in 2017. All of those things came because of President Trump, but also because of Senate control. If that's not there, none of those accomplishments happen. So when we look ahead to what could come next, if the event of a Biden administration taking over and Republicans either having control of the Senate or not, is that really the only opportunity for oversight, acknowledging what Attorney General Bill Barr said today about not appointing a special counsel? Well, you know, we, we all know what's at stake here. You know, if, if we don't hold the Senate, if we don't hold the line here in Georgia, we will have a Green New Deal, which would kill 10 million jobs. Uh, we would have them, the Democrats, who are not uh, John F. Kennedy's Democrat Party anymore, uh, pack the Supreme Court. Uh, we would reverse all the progress that our country's made for the working men and women of America uh, across the board over the past four years. And we have to make sure that we have a Republican majority in the Senate uh, so that we prevent uh, basically one party uh, state rule. Yeah, and I'm, I think that's a great way to put it because, I mean, otherwise we are looking at the possibility of a Democrat in the White House, a Democrat-controlled Senate, and a Democrat-controlled House. Really, whatever legislation the Democratic Party decides that they want to pass, they have free reign in order to do so. But you mentioned right there that this is no longer the Democratic Party of John F. Kennedy. But there's also been a lot of talks about how the Republican Party has really transformed, especially over the last decade or so, but especially the past four years. So of coming out of the November election, what did we learn about the Republican Party, not only in that election, but over the span of the past four years? That's a great question. By the way, our, our party has been transformed and we had 75 million people vote for uh, this president and this party because of what the president and the American people accomplished over the past four years. The Republican Party is the party for the working man and woman uh, in America. We're the party for liberty, freedom, prosperity, job growth, wage growth, and uh, the rule of law. And Tommy, before I let you go too, I mean, we've talked so much about Georgia that I almost uh, forgot to tell you or ask you if our viewers, for example, want to get more so involved in the Georgia race, whether it's uh, through donations, whether it's through going there themselves, volunteering, anything like that. How do you suggest that they get involved in doing so? 
Well, you can go to GOP.com. You can work uh, also work with your state and county uh, uh, party leadership. Uh, we have a lot of momentum on the ground right now, but we can always use as much help as we can get. And again, we've got to go out there and talk to the people we work with, the people we go to church with, uh, and our families and make sure we turn out every single possible voter for these two Republican candidates for senator so that we can hold the line here in Georgia. And of course, word of mouth is probably more beneficial than any campaign ad could ever buy. I mean, it's quite literally people who are involved in politics begin with getting other people in order to do so as well. I think that's a really strong message right there. But Tommy Hicks, I really appreciate you coming on the program tonight, updating us not only about the prospect of a potential Biden administration, but also how important these Georgia Senate runoff races are going to be. Thank you. Well, thank you, Alex.